All right, guys, welcome back to the garage. I won't call it a workshop or whatever. It is what it is. You get to see my new uh, Global Jet Club F15. This is the first one here in the US. And um, let's get cranking. Not only do you get to see the airplane, but you have my get to see uh, hear my uh, background music. <laughs> anyway, the music you hear in the back is uh, my uh, daughter-in-law uh, practicing with the mariachi team they have. So, anyway, um, I haven't cheated, haven't looked at it at all. Uh, I just cracked the box open before the video, so it wouldn't make it uncomfortable waiting for me to do that. Let's start removing some packaging and see what we have. All right, I'm gonna need my exacto knife because everything is home packed, nice and neatly in there. And let me uh, go ahead and uh, chop some of this uh, packaging up so we can get a better look at the uh, F-15. Now, the one they showed me, or the one that was on the website uh, that they had first, was the uh, like the sand camel, the Israeli F-15. And um, even though the color was a little bit too green to be scaled, I liked it. Uh, I liked that color and uh, it spoke to me. So I told my kid, have them send me that one. Um, I don't know if they, if they sent me the same, exact same one or they made another one. But um, this is the Israeli camouflage. For some of you purists, which I'm not, by the way, this um, this green on here might be a little bit too much for you, a little bit too much green. I think the one in the in the videos and the pictures they have was a little brighter than this, but let's get into it. You know, it's composite. What can I say? Um, metal uh, um, pivot point and uh, and holder it has a flat spot in there for. Uh, the control horn wherever it's at or however it connects I haven't looked at it yet that's the first part out of the box there is a lot of this uh, foam packing I'm just making sure that there's nothing in between that I throw out because I have done that before oh man here's a uh, one of the vertical fans I can see the eagle through the through the foam right there that looks just beautiful right there. Let me get it out so we can get a better closer look. And see what we got. Uh, again, this is the new uh, Global Jet Composite uh, F15. It's gonna be available in multiple colors. You can pick your own if you want to, or you can choose some of the standard ones we, uh, we're gonna have out. Have a look at that. Nicely hinged already. It's got tape on it uh, to prevent it from moving right now. It's got two hinges in there. And let me check if it's actually glued on or if I have to do that. One sec, let me cut this open. And it is not glued on. So the two hinges I have to glue on myself to to the vertical stab no big deal not hard to do let me put this out of the way beautiful split pipe There you go. Uh, 118, 2022 is the, the date they, this was manufactured. So April, excuse me, January 18. Let me put this out of the way. Here we have the other elevator. You already seen one. I mean, I don't think you need to see the other one, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the 
the foam off. Anyway. Just the other elevator. Of the rudder, vertical fin. Let me get that out of the way. Might as well. Now, those of you close to uh, California, Arizona, or uh, anywhere else that come to the Tucson Jet Rally, the, uh, the uh, plan or idea is to have this ready and get it built slash um, put together by the time the jet rally comes around, along. So, one of the things I am noticing, this was supposed to have servos on it, and uh, I have no servos on there right now. I'm gonna check and see if they come in the box. But my, mine was supposed to be uh, PNP, where all the stuff is already installed. So let me see what we have in here. Beautiful nose cone. Let me get it out of there so it can Appreciate the paint scheme on it. There's a lot of packing in here, guys. Sorry. <laughs> There's the nose. Nice. Uh, they don't look like uh, dry. They might be dry transfers because I don't feel anything on there. They're definitely not uh, vinyl. There's the nose. Has a cockpit in there. Has a scale cockpit in there. Uh, the instrument panel's turned around, but that's no big deal. You can see uh, in here the electric nose wheel on there. Nice instrument panel. can't take off the, the dashboard or the seat, excuse me, the, the, the cockpit without uh, getting the screwdriver. So I'll, I'll get to that later on. I wanted to see uh, if I can show you guys uh, the inside of it. But as of right now, we'll just get to look at it from the outside. Um, like I said, I, I, it takes a little, it has those little small screws right here that hold the cockpit in. And then um, we'll go ahead and uh, Look at it a little bit later on. Let me put this down carefully so I don't break anything. Oh man, here comes the stuff. The fuselage. Got a bunch of uh Foam separator, excuse me, cardboard separator to protect the fuselage. Make sure it's not banging around. Actually, what it holds is the wings. So let me get in here. Here is one of the wings. Let me tear it open so I can show you guys. Here, so you can get the taper up out of the front of the fuselage there.
It had one carbon tube in there and then also one carbon alignment pin on, in the front of the wing. Look at that. Both the flap and the aileron are, are hinged. They're, each has three hinge points. Again, this one, uh, for one reason or another, does not have the servos. It was supposed to be the, the PMP, but no worries, we'll get to it. Here's the wing, the color of the color scheme of the wing. Let me put that down along with the, the second wing. Yeah, baby here's a fuselage now before I uh, do my usual oh, there's something in this package so let me check the first might be the accessories package or the hardware packs that are in there Typical of most other F-15s out there. There's a brace for the top of the hatch, at the main hatch. Um, I've seen this before. I mean, my yellow aircraft and then my Skymaster has this. So I don't see why this, you know, I, that's why I know what this is before I even look at the airplane. Um, two metal tabs, possibly uh, to hold the, the pipe in there. A couple of screws. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Before I touch this, nothing else. And then the fuselage. It barely fits in there. So let me uh, put this down here. Typical of one of, my, of one of my videos. There we go. Get rid of the box. Let's look at this beautiful fuselage. Tearing into this, get all the foam out of here. Why is it always harder to take the foam off than it was to put on? Oh man, you got some uh, semi scale turkey feathers. I love it. Make sure there's nothing on the foam. How cool are those turkey feathers there in the back? Huh? You like that? I do. Speed brakes already on there. Let's pop open the main hatch. It looks just like my yellow aircraft uh, F 15 hatch. There's no servo uh, mounted for the speed brake yet. I gotta do that. There we go. There's the servo mount there for your uh, speed brake servo. It has the landing gear already installed, just like in the nose. Uh, two fiberglass tanks. Get, see if I can get one of these out real quick. Well, I'm 
not able to get them out right now. I gotta see how they're installed. There is three tanks. There's one here, obviously the other one here, and there's a third tank right here in the in the nose. Uh, I don't know if I can get to it. You can see the main gear already installed in there too. Nice and uh, bolted in, nice wheels in there. Um, the servos for the landing gear doors would go in here. And let me see if I can get to the nose fuel tank from the front real quick. Do that. Here we go. This is the third servo. Excuse me. Third servo. Third tank. So it has three fuel tanks uh, throughout the entire airplane. There's some more hardware inside the airplane. Let me pop this hardware bags open and see what they are. And what we have here. There's a lot of foam. Underneath all that foam. We have uh, four landing gear, uh, four doors. These would be the ones for the rudder, for the vertical fin, and the ones for uh, the elevators down here. Here's the doors. Actually, it's not for the vertical, it's for the elevators where you mount in, push in the elevator to the metal bracket, and then the actual, where the actual servo goes, the rod, the servo will go in here for the elevator and the push rod. So this other package here would most likely be the actual push rods and everything else that's needed to build the airplane. Because I have not seen any uh, push rods anywhere yet. Let me pop this open, and then we, we all get to see, uh, get a glimpse of it. So basically it looks like a, the typical 1-9 scale, you know, like the typical size, like um, the a Aeroloft slash A1 slash yellow. It looks about the same size. As a matter of fact, I have the hatch here from the yellow aircraft one. And I have the Skymaster one in the other garage. Yeah, this is the, the servo trays, um, retract controller, brake controller. All of this little baggie. It has uh, some formers for the nose. Let's see what's in there. So this is uh, for the 140 type uh, turbines. 120, 140, maybe 160, but I think 160 might be pushing it. It is not that heavy, um, doesn't feel that heavy. I'll put it on the scale and find out. It's got a um, JP brake controller. Uh, fortunately, I won't be using that. I'll be using uh, the AG68 Pro, which does the landing gear doors and the, here's the JP controller for it. I won't be using that again, because like I said, I'm using the, the one from uh, Screws, I'll be using the one from Isan, the AG68. Uh, all the gas tank hardware. More screws. Servo tray, most likely for the nose. And last but not least, just more uh, servo mounts. These are like the Tamjet slash VVM servo mounts. They're uh, carbon, um, carbon or plastic L-shaped brackets. And there's just the uh, screws everywhere. Uh, steering spin and then uh, an extra steering uh, pin on there in case you mess up the one in the in the nose already. The steering arm is here. And just some very nice push rods. So I think this might be the one for the brake because it, it has a nice white coating on it. All the other ones seem to be just standard looking. So yeah, the other ones are just standard. Uh, Standard hardware that doesn't have any uh, coloring to it. That, that one is white, so I'm assuming it's gonna be for the one for the for the um, speed brake. Um, 
I mean, that's it, guys. I, I can stand it up for you guys to see, so you guys can see how tall it looks or anything like that. But I mean, it's not gonna make much of a difference right now until I put it together. Um, it looks about the size, like I said, of the standard yellow slash Avon slash Skymaster. You give me a second here. I have here. This is the typical yellow aircraft uh, hatch. So more or less, it's just about the same. Uh, the yellow aircraft one is maybe a quarter inch bigger, but it, I mean, it has the same outline. Uh, the only difference is that uh, yellow aircraft, you put two screws on it to hold it down. Uh, this one has one hatch pin on the front. Actually three of them, excuse me. Three hatch pins, one here, one here in the center, and then the one on the outside, and in the back, the two hatch latches. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned for another one. I got two airplanes today, so I'm gonna be making another video. Thank you for joining me.